University of California. And this initiative is a step towards, towards stability that we simply cannot afford to dismiss. It will ensure a new floor for our core funding from the state. It potentially will ensure state funding for UCRP and it will ensure that tuition increases remain modest. Now, since the fiscal crisis struck in 2008, we at UCOP have not been idle. The state funding for this university has plummeted over $879 million. At the same time, we faced $1.22 billion in new costs. We're still working to overcome these cuts and to manage these costs, and we've developed many strategies to do it. Yeah, We've been increasing our this. indirect cost recovery revenues through negotiated rates, as, and we anticipate increasing that revenue to $125 million in the next five years. We've been achieving greater fiscal impact through working smarter. In fact, we've reached a $289 million in positive fiscal impact as a result of improving our processes at the university, and we're way ahead of target. Increasing the We've raised 42% of our $1 billion dollar goal for Project You Can. This is money that goes directly to student support, and our corporate scholar campaign is proceeding crisply as well. We will reach the $1 billion in fundraising to help our students. Our efforts don't stop there. As you know, Regent Makarishian's Committee on Technology Transfers and Examining Ways in which our tech transfer income may be increased to mitigate the loss of state funding. We look forward to hearing the committee's findings and ideas in the new future. We're also looking at e-learning and at other innovations and ventures that can help bridge our structural funding while remaining true to the university of this university's mission and the quality of its offerings. Let me reiterate, however, that these strategies are addressing the cuts that have already been made to our funding. They cannot on their own cover the immediate budget gap to a face if the governor's initiative fails, nor can they fully address the severe long-term fiscal uncertainty that the initiative's failure would present for the University of California. Instead, we would have no choice but to consider and enact the 